I'm bored. Well, why don't you play with Rosie O'Donnell? And by the way, did you change her cage today? I'm gonna claw out your beady little eyes as soon as I get out of here, you evil monsters. Let me! <laughs> she keeps trying to bite me. Maybe we should put her down. Our pet just needs to learn some discipline. Oh, no. Not the Prada. Bad <laughs> Rosie! Bad Rosie! <laughs> You want to try? I want to do something fun. I could remove a fundamental freedom. That's boring. I could start a war. Maybe I should do something important like Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama has fat bingo arms and a man face. Do you really want to be like that? The commoners loved her because she helped all those wretched poor people. Maybe they won't hate me so much if I help some dirty peasants. If that's what you want to do. Oh, thank you, Donnie. Thank you. Welcome to the first game show where contestants compete against each other for humanitarian aid. We've got six million dollars to waste on desperate people. Tonight they will beg us for money and we'll show the world that America's got empathy. Our first contestant is Sarah. Sarah's a white trash single mother. She has six young children and she's unemployed. That means that her family is not just hungry, they're completely homeless. My heart aches for this poor, ugly woman. I want to help her. Let's get her a boob job and fix that flat chest. We are going to spend $100,000 to get you the best plastic surgeon in the entire country. Can I just have the money to feed my starving children? Oh, thank you so much, sir. Oh, come on, don't get greedy. That is fantastic. Please enjoy your fancy new boob. Our next contestant is Goma. Right this way, Goma. Now, Goma is from Kenya, and she's only asking for $163 so she can give her tiny village a well. Stop, 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 stop. This isn't right. All right, I like my starving Kenyans with open sores, flies, all that kind of stuff. This girl doesn't have any of that. And if she's starving, why isn't she more attractive? Listen, I'm sorry, Gumbo or Gupta, or whatever your name is. We're out of money. All right, so maybe you can come back next year and we get you a nice set of tits. Our next contestant is a multi-millionaire from Manhattan, New York. Please welcome David Buffett. David, why do you deserve our help? It's a sad tale. You see, I was born super rich. Never worked a day in my life. I'm only worth 994 mil. The billionaires, they all laugh at me. It's unbearable. I'm only asking for 5.9 million, so I can finally say, I'm a billionaire. I'm giving him the cash. David, you're a billionaire. Welcome to the club. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saving me from a lifetime of shame. Oh, David, you did it. You're somebody now. Just another dream come true here on America's Got Empathy. Good night, America. You're welcome. My fellow Americans, like you, I know there is nothing worse than donating to a cause than wondering where your money went. That's why at the Melania Trump Foundation, I pledge to be completely transparent with every dollar you send me. This is from Sally in Indiana. Sally sent $200, and now Sally can watch the First Lady personally burn her money. Isn't that exciting? Send me your cash, and you too can enjoy watching me burn it. Wow, you're tight, Vlad. Do you mind if I call you Vlad? What's a strong name it is? It means ruler. Mm. What means your name? Anything you 